Good day viewers, welcome back to more Ninja Girls, I'm Shadow Blade, so we're at chapter 10, Ninja Seekers. Could you wait a moment please? Without saying any more, Akari's mother leave the room. A silence fall over the three of us left behind. But it's not an unpleasant silence. Instead, it's a sor sort of silence that comes after you made it through the darkness and returned to the light. It was clear from the face, faces and everyone in the room that no one could believe what Akari's mother has said. So this means I'm descendant from ninjas. Well, I've always felt like there was something different about you. But still, I wish my mom had told me the truth sooner. I kinda understand why she didn't though. Really? Although it was for a totally different reason. I fled my hometown too. If I were to have children, would I want to tell them they were descended from ninjas? No way. I don't want my children to live a normal life. I'm sure I wouldn't want to put them in danger like that. I'm sure your mother just wanted to keep you safe from the cruel fate so many ninjas face. Your mother didn't want you to join the Ninja Singing Club for the same reason. I guess you're right. Still, you found out the truth now, Akari. You know, you know about your secret ninja origin. Now that, I, that you know, there's no turning back. Akari, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Didn't I say to ke I'd keep you safe? I'll make sure you're never, never in danger, Akari. Shadow. The door suddenly opened. Oh, am I interrupting something? Ma, where did you run off to? I was looking for something. It's very old, so I was worried I wouldn't be able to find it. Looking for something. Hey, Akari, come over here. What the heck? Akari's mother dragged her body to the arm by Akari, Akari stumble. What are you thinking? It's crazy, right, Renju? What's up with you? All, all this made you mad? Not at all. I don't feel anything at all. Oh, really? Although that what she said, she's pouting a little bit and seem upset. And you now were waiting to Akri and her, her mother to come, come back. A few minutes later. Sorry about that. Ta-da! Check her out! Wow! What the heck is that? It's my old ninja outfit I used to wear that that I held on to. I thought it would it look good on Akari, so I had her try it on. It fits perfectly. So that means this outfit is a hand me down from from you to know daughter's Misanao. That's right, I never intended for her to wear it though. But now that things have come to this, it seems right. Uh I see. The bus feels a little tight though. It does. Well, no need to be rude, Akari. You look just like... Like I did at your age. Maybe you're a little bit fatter than I was. I'm not fat. What do you think? What do you think of it, Shadow? Akari strikes a pose to show off if she asks a question. What do I think? Come on, does it look good on me? It just like your mother said, Akari, it seems a bit tight. Ah! See, you got, you got a little chubby, haven't you? That's not true at all, right, and you? Um, yeah, Shadow, how could you say that to a girl? Think before you speak next time. I mean, I just said it looks tight, like in the chest area. But mom, why did you have me to tie out this ninja outfit? Because I'm convinced that is something you're going to need in the future. That outfit is like an old skin I shed when I left my former life be behind. Starting today, it will be your armor when you do battle. It's not really anything that special, but I'm sure your late father will watch over you. Mom, I'll pray for a safe future. Agnes' mother placed her hand together in a prayer, then turns to face all of us. Shadow and Enju, please take good care of my daughter. We're, we're, count, we're counting on your support too. 
before that, we need Akari to learn some self-defense technique, at the very least. But you guys are going to teach her that stuff, right? I mean, you're real ninjas after all. Akari's mother placed a hand on her daughter's shoulder and smiled gently as she said it. Your father and I violated the old ninja code and darted out of the village. I just had to believe that we made the right choice. So I didn't tell you about any of this. I thought it would be better if you didn't know. But you're all grown up now and can think for yourself. Mom. Kids grow up so fast. Akari, we made the decision on our own and choose this life for ourselves. So I hope you decide your own life first from now on and put your own needs first. After all, this is your life and yours alone. Mom. I'm grateful to you and your friend, Shadow. Me too, Shadow, and you thank you. I really haven't done anything at all. But you always stay by her side and keep her safe from now on, right? Well, yeah, I did say that. Shadow, you're like Akari's faithful knight. What? Shadow is my faithful knight. Just a little joke, but still, Akari is my precious little princess. So, take good care of her for me, alright? Alright, I will. And you take care of Akari for me too. You do that, right? Yes, Miss Anao. So she's pairing a crimson scarf with the cherry blossom pattern ninja outfit, huh? People say that they were a specialist in special seal technique who live in the village where I was born long ago. So it was Akari's mother they were talking about. As we leave Akari's house, it's already dark outside. If we don't hurry, we'll break the dorm curfew. Bye guys, be careful on your way home. Oh, thanks for seeing us off. See you tomorrow, that's not much time. We better hurry, Shadow. Yeah, you're right. And you take the lead and, uh, and just as following after her, I feel something grab my sh shoulder suddenly from behind. Shadow? Hmm? Huh? What's up? Well, turn around, I see Akali tiptoe her face moving closer. Smooch. Whoa. I felt so touched on the lips and briefly moment. At first, I can't even understand what just happened. Wait a second. What the? Is this just now? Did she? No way. Could it be? I noticed pulling away from me slowly. Her face is red as a tomato. Did she just? As I think to myself, a smile spread across Akari's face. This time I did it! Akari, see you tomorrow! Bye Shadow! Akari give me a big wave then dashes up inside. As for me, I, le I left behind out there. Even if the wo world were ending right now, I'll probably still be standing here unable to comprehend this sensation I just felt on my lips. Shadow, what's wrong? If you're going to space out like that, I'm leaving you behind. I hear the sound of Angel's voice from far ahead and finally come to our senses. Come on, hurry. We don't have much time left before curfew. Yeah, I know. I'll catch up with you. Keep it together, jeez. I chase after Angel but still can get the feeling out of my head. The road back to the dorms completely deserted at night. I finally catch up to Angie and the two of us walk along side by side. Shadow? Hmm? What's up? Suddenly she stopped in her track and grabbed my shoulder with both hands. Hey, what are you? What? Angie sealed my lip with a, with a kiss. She doesn't really seem too sure to, of herself and simply presses her lips against mine in a kind of clumsy way. But in spite of that, it stirs up my emotion, and I feel the soft warmth of Angus in this moment. The country can continue for some time. Anyone passing could easily tell how nervous Angie is right now from the stiffness of her posture. Oh, why is, why is Angie doing this? After a while, Angie pulls away from me. Hey, what was that all about? Angie is standing in front of me, not saying a word. In the pitch black around us, but she's blushing so furiously that I can tell her face is red. What was that all about just now? At any rate, I got to break the silence somehow. Um, well, but I have no idea what am I supposed to respond at a time like this. 
What the hell was that? What? What did it mean? Shut up for a moment! Uh, okay. And just stands perfectly still, not moving a muscle. I was really nervous. Me too. But why did you... What's going on here? That's what I'm thinking, but I can't bring myself to ask the question. Get yourself together, man. Ah, honestly. And you leave me standing there and starts walking at a fast pace. Hey, wait up! I chase after Angie, we both go back to the dorm. The next day, still unable to make sense of everything that happened yesterday, I make my way to the classroom. Morning. Morning, Shadow. Oh, morning, Akari. You're a little later than usual today. You think so? You are. You always get here earlier than this. Akari showed no sign of bringing up what happened yesterday. Look who is here. Morning, Shadow. And you arrived in the classroom just after me. Uh, morning. What's wrong? Is, is there something on my face? Um, no, nothing like that. I see. And she's the same as usual. She seemed to completely unconcerned. It's like what happened to Dark Crow last night was just a dream. Just then the classroom door opened and Rika walks in. Trouble. You're a big trouble, Shadow Senpai. You follow her up and also enter the room. Apparently, you're in trouble, Shadow. What did I do? Now, Taki is joining in. Jeez, what are you all getting all worked up about? You got called to the principal's office. What the heck is this time? I've been called to the principal's office along with Akari and Yuri, Kamiu, and Tenke. Also, come, all of us combined were a group of ninjas. So, what can I help you with today? I see what you mean. I've called you for, to my office for more time I can count this point. But are you sure there is nothing that you would like to take the with and report to me? For example, some information about Miss and House family? Huh? I glance over to Akari unconsciously. Furious head shake. Akari gets to that she has no idea what she what she's talking about. I look over Took over after engine tank as well. Not sure they both shaking their heads as well. But why does Mr. Kazuri know about what happened yesterday? Does it surprise you to hear me say that? The lady of Nana household, Mari, she and I are old friends. Come to think of it, I have seen Mr. Kazuri at Akari's house before. So that's why Mr. Kazuri once said it would be fine to tell Akari we are ninjas and this was the reason. It's because he knew that she was a ninja by blood. I got a message from Mari yesterday. She told me to take care of her daughter. Don't look so concerned. I don't have any particular intention of punishing all of you. I just wanted to give you a warning. Miss Nao, you learned the secret of your origins. From now on, you'll be a part of the secret world. You don't know the rules of the world yet, do you? You may, you may be the daughter of the ninja who fell the, fled the village, but there are still some you should follow. Okay, sir. Mr. Kuzuryu, Akari has all of us by her side. Indeed, your bond of friends are admirable. Please maintain them, keep her safe, and teach her the way of the ninja. Mr. Now, I have just one piece of advice for you. You learn that yourself and the people around you are ninjas, but this truth must remain hidden. Even dear fellow ninjas club members, you still must keep your true identity a secret from all non-ninjas. In other words, you have to keep your secret from Miss Soul and Mr. Spicer. Do you understand that, do you not? Yes. Good. I have nothing more to say. I miss that really is that really all you have to say to us? Yes, that's all. To be honest, there are tons of things I'd like to ask Mr. Kuzuryu. I'd like to ask him about Takamoe, Izumo, myself, and also Akari. But for everyone else right here, I hesitate to do it now. Alright then, enough serious talk. Mr. Kuzuryu clapped his head and smiled cheerfully. The fact that you are all ninjas is a secret, but I'm sure having some people that that our ninjas are some and will make things awkward with your club activities. You mustn't let them break your bonds. To make sure that it doesn't happen, I prepare something interesting for all of you. 
because it's Mitsukuzuyo who holds a piece of paper which I take. The paper has something written on it. The three mysteries of the school. There are three legends related to this school that have been passed down. Do you have many young ninjas know about this? I've always attended this school, but I never heard of anything like that. Yeah, none of us in the student council have either. I never came across that information. It is tough for real, sir. Who can say for sure? It could be a lot of ideal gossip, at least for the moment. Even so, if really negative rumors spread outside the school, this would be a problem for us. But almost every school has at least a few mysteries. For a normal school, that sort of thing is no problem. But this school isn't a normal, unfortunately. He's right about that. We have the ne- these negative rumors in the bud. In other words, you want to want us to investigate these three mysteries to find the truth and eliminate the doubts people have about this school. That's correct. These are nothing but rumors, after all. I'm sure it's nothing that will put you in any danger. Also, having a shared goal will help you stay unified. What do you think? This is a perfect activity for the Ninja Seeking Club? What Mitsuko suggested is an interesting op- proposition. But I have a hard time just playing along and nodding. I kind of feel love like we're going to get wrapped up in something big. It's a big problem. Mitsuko Zuriai, everyone just do this. Akari? Akari interrupted me right then and her timing is so perfect it was like she planned it. All of us in the scene club were having trouble figuring out what kind of activity we should do. I see, Mr. Blade, what were you about to say just now? Uh, what does everyone think? What do you all think? Do you want to do it or do you... Or do you want to turn it, turn him down? Why not take him up on it? It sounds interesting to me. Yes, working together as a club sounds fun. What do you think, Rika? Being addicted to mystery game. In other words, we'll solve this mystery. I see. So everyone wants to, wants to do it. I guess we should do this together. Okay then. Mr. Kusuri, we'll investigate the three mysteries of the school for you. Thank you, Mr. Blade. Oh, but perhaps I should call Sir since you're a knight. What? Mario was getting su- such a kid out, kick out of it, going about how her daughter's future is good hands now. That's a totally misunderstanding. That's right, Shadow is just doing his duty as a vice manager of the club. Why do you feel I need to deny it and duty seem to be a bit suspicious? There's no, there's no special meaning to it. Why does smirk up your face? But I'm fine with you being my knight, actually. You're what? Come on, let's get going. I want to tell you, you know, Book and Johnny about the three mysteries. Hey, don't pull my arm like that. You're just going to run away from this shadow. You're not pulling my... Now you're pulling my arm, too. After bowing to Mr. Kuzuri and give thanks, we dash us out of the principal's office. After classes, so anyway, everyone is gathered in the club room, and Akari opened the paper we got from the principal. Our next activity will be investigating the mysteries of the school. Yay, mystery, the three mysteries of the school, the day has really finally arrived, woohoo! What are you going to fire up about Johnny? Do you know what this stuff? Duh, I just transferred to the school, there's no way I'd know anything. No to be all high and mighty about it. But still, I'm covering the secret of the school. This isn't just a fan- fantastic. Yeah, is it true it could be? Yeah, Bookie, do you know anything about this stuff? I never heard anything either. But if you find some school mystery, I can probably use it for the material of my next manga. I don't know anything either. Maybe we should talk to the expert and use my own connection. Thought that though, investigating things one by one. Yeah, you're right. I get the first day for the ask how careful to find the truth about these rumors. Sounds good, like a real detective. This investiga- investigation of school mystery should be a perfect event. Perfect event for what? Your book is more spontaneous question. Of course, I would be have to be 
Acho que eles ah, que eles vão pra gente do meu dia, sim, claro. Nice, sounds like a good idea. We'll get to the bottom of this. In this world, no mystery exists that can be solved. I'll do my best too. Alright, alright, Miss Manager, please keep us in order. Akari knows with a smile and seemed to be enjoying herself even more than usual. I'm sorry for causing all of her trouble, but as but as I continue remembering the Yasin Club, I act it now. As for you, for forgive me and promise to keep myself to this club as long as possible. I put everything into this club. Yeah, you're the best, Akari. Alright, then let's get down to business. Wait, is it really time to go home? Nah, I'm sure it's going to be tough to restart the club all of a sudden like this. Let's wait until tomorrow and start solving the mystery. I don't want to go home yet today. She doesn't want to go home, I guess I can understand that. Since this is a special day for Akari, I'm sure going home now doesn't seem right. In that case, how about we go out somewhere? We can have a party to celebrate Akari's comeback. Really, you don't have to do that just for me. Although Akari shakes her head in for fluster, the other club members all seem excited about the idea. Let's have some fun, beef, barbecue. We can we can have a barbecue. Be more realistic. Well, at any rate, how about we get moving? We can decide on the way. Nothing get done sticking around here, is it, sweeties? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go, Akari. Okay, thanks, everyone. Oh, that reminds me. Just something I forgot to say. Welcome back to the club, Akari. Thanks. Hey, good to be back. Alright, let's get going. If it gets too late, we'll miss out the dorm curfew. Good point. In that case, how about we go sing karaoke? Never sung karaoke before. I haven't much either. As everyone continues talking about what he or she wants to do for the party, we seem to leave the club room. I get an urge to look around the room just because of a familiar room to me. If it wasn't been that long since I time for to this school, I have a strong attachment to this place already. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry up, we'll leave you behind. Sorry about that. I'm coming in now. If I keep enjoying our time together in the New Scene Club, I have no problem going along with what the principal wants. Committing myself to the follow through, I walk over where the other members are waiting. Case closed, do you suppose? No, it's only just begun. Dear me, do you realize you could have saved as much time if you have looked another measure from those youngsters with the crystal clear eyes? You must learn. I am too old to start acting differently from how I already have been, as you are, I believe. <laughs> the stripping speak nonsense still. The new thing club was it? A fine club with grown info. The name, they shall be called it no more. <laughs> They are rather ninja seekers. And that's the end of all 10 chapters of Mohan Ninja Girl Season 3. You made it to the end. Congrats! Once again, you, your final comparison will be me, Akari, and me and you. Thanks for your sticking with us. Man, it sure was happy, wasn't it, and you? Yeah, but there's still some more things. Coming up, we can, as you can, we can see what will happen next. I can wait to find out in season four. Looking back on it, a lot of different stuff happened this season. It really did. It it started with the truth about Akari being revealed. Then the Kamui we had luck was lost. Akari left the club. We discovered the secret of the Kamui. Plus, we went to the Ninja Village too. That was fun. I'd love to go there again sometime. I hope I have the change, chance again. Anyway, this is the end of season 3. But as usual, you still have a bitch for any left to read. Who will you be waiting for you? You'll be me, right? Definitely me, don't you think? Or will be none, no one in particular? Look forward to it during the ending. This message was brought to you by me, Akari Hanao, and yours truly, and Joe Sayonji. Be waiting in season 4. See you. Okay guys, that's the that's all. We're gonna continue this in the ending. But that's all I hope you enjoy. So shall we move on for the video?